this video we will be learning about bit plane slicing now if you have gone through like the previous video we have learned about many transformations that we can do um, we can do the lobe transformation the negative transformation and similarly the last time we saw um, intensity uh, slicing so we use intensity uh, like as a feature to get more finer details about the image similarly in this case we will be using the binary representation of a pixel to basically get more finer details about the image now and any every pixel um, in a given image um, has some fixed length so let us take an example of 8-bit image in which each pixel is saved um, or represented as um, as a as a binary number of eight length now just let's take any example so i just write any eight um, eight length binary number so one two three four five six seven eight so this is a binary so it, it may contain to certain pixels so this is its binary representation now um, there are some in, in like um, hidden in information inside it also for example the rightermost pixel as the rightermost uh, bit is the least significant uh, bit similarly the leftmost bit is the most um, significant bit and to convert it into um, decimal i think you you must know the formula to 2 to the power 0 to 1 to 2 up to 2 to the power 7 and then you just uh, multiply this and add and we get the and we get the decimal representation for the same so how does it really work so let us say i have a pixel here all right so i have a pixel and it it, it will contain some some values so let us say it is 159 um, 180 um, 45 these are pixel values so 57 91 166 and then we have 181 50 and 143 so this is an 8 bit image so the range can go from 0 to 2 to the power sorry to 255 and this 255 is 2 to the power 8 minus 1 where 8 is the like these the number of bits that we use for the pixel now to now the first step would be to convert this decimal representation into what we call as binary representation so i will do that quickly yeah, I will. all right so for this um, image in decimal form we are just representing it in binary form which will be something like this now we can play around with the pixels now we have the have the, sorry play around with the binary values now we have the binary values we have more information basically about the image so we have something more to play around with so now what we do so what we do is given this one image obviously this will be a much larger image i'm just taking a very small subsection for this example so given this image i will get eight different binary images of the same size now this is a grayscale image the values are from 0 to 255 a binary image means that the value can either be 0 or be 1 so so for example i will have one here okay then another here and similarly we, i will have six more so i will just throw the last one like this so this will now break into eight um, different images now what values will be stored here so this will store the most significant bit of every pixel so this pixel which has value 159 the most significant bit is one so I will store one here. In fact, I will do it for all of it. So in, in this one, uh, so this will be 
so all the pixels here here and similarly here so all of this will will get stored so for example um, in this one it will be 101 just taking the first pixel uh, source the, the first bit I keep confusing in, in this uh, it's okay it's 101 then 100 sorry 100 and then uh, it is 011 011 similarly here we will be containing the second most significant bit so this one it will be 000 one sorry zero one zero and then zero 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 again lots of zeros yeah then here it will be the least significant bit so the last one it will be one 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 zero one zero one zero one now see the beautiful thing about it we had an image we converted it to binary and we broke off each bit but what exactly are we doing is we are now getting deep into the um, like the mechanics of the image we like the very foundations of the image so now we can play around with it more and how so this as we go from here to here this will contain like um, like how the image I mean the high level details of the image and as we go here we are getting into the subtle uh, like the subtle parts of the image for example if you just if you just um, plot this um, this uh, image you will see that it is just a thresholded version of the original image but if you plot this image this will completely be random but the thing about it is that it is still storing some information about the image which we can't see from the naked eye but it is there and one more thing we can do is we can basically change this um, this part of this image and when we join them back together and construct the image so for for that we just follow the reverse process and we get this one the, the image still looks like the same and this can be used to send hidden messages so if I just change the values of the lower um, like the uh, like the lower uh, plane so this is I think the zeroth plane or something so if I change values of this one I reconstruct the image right so now the image will now contain some hidden message which is stored in its lower bit uh, lower bits so yeah, this is an interesting um, use case. We may look into it. We may make a Python program on this. So you can check the later videos for that.